I'm so excited to have you joining me today because I have a very special guest. People have often asked me, how did I get from my home kitchen to this stage? It all started about three and a half years ago when my neighbor, Dave the Plumber, said, Lori, you should have a cooking show on the Petaluma Community Access. I said, you're crazy, nuts, no way, no how. Who would even watch the show? He argued with me for a month, and finally I gave in and I said, okay, I'll do the show, but it's not going to be about me. It's going to be about all the local deliciousness right here in Sonoma and Marin counties being produced, and the show began. Then he said to me, you need music for your show. Okay, it has to be country, I want somebody local, and there was a song I had heard on the radio. <laughs> by Pete Stringfellow, a local country music artist. I sent Pete a message on Facebook asking him if I could use some of his music for my cooking show, and he said, Sure. Oh my God, Pete Stringfellow got back to me about my cooking show. My motto is, it never hurts to ask. So my next question was, Pete, would you be a guest on Cooking with Lori? And he said... Absolutely. Oh my God, I was so over the moon excited. Pete Stringfellow wanted to be on my cooking show. So I kept trying to get him to commit to a date. When is he coming to film the cooking show? He wasn't giving me an answer, so I thought, hmm. I'm not talking to Pete Stringfellow. Somebody is playing games with me. So I sent him another message that said, just wondering if this is really happening. That night, about 10 o'clock, my phone rings. I'm thinking, telemarketer. I don't recognize this phone number at all. And I said, hello? Hey, uh, can I speak to Lori? This is Lori. Hey, Lori, this is Pete Stringfellow, and I would love to be on your show. And oh, my God. Here I am right now. Hey, everybody. Ah! <laughs> Pete. Hello. Pete Stringfellow, oh, everybody. How are you? I'm great. Hello, so the, re up. the rest of the story is, I thought, if Pete's coming to my show, we've got to go to the ranch that I grew up on in Novato. It's 1,100 acres. I wanted to go up to the special spot where we used to have barbecues when we were kids growing up. My parents said they would go up the hill, have the fire ready, and it was going to happen about the middle of May. But on Mother's Day weekend, when I was out having lunch with my mom and her sister, I was telling them this exciting story. Oh my God, Pete Stringfellow is coming and he's gonna be on my cooking show. And my mom's sister, my aunt, who's hard of hearing, said, Bruce Springsteen? <laughs> And I said, no, no, Pete Stringfellow. Who did she say, Bruce Springsteen? <laughs> you can um, call me Bruce. Okay, now I'm gonna call him Bruce. After three times going rounds with her, I told myself, Lori, just drop the subject, drop the subject. I get home from my errands the following week and there was a message from my aunt saying, Lori, what time is Bruce Springsteen coming and when are you filming at the ranch? Oh my God. I have to tell you, I did name one of my recipes OMG after <laughs> this whole story. So I'm like, oh, I have to call her. She's not going to hear me. And so I called her. I got the answering machine, and I'm like, Aunt Betty, it's Pete, S-T-R-I-N-G. That's a long name to yeah, spell it is. out. It is. No, it's a long one. Yeah. Sorry <laughs> I, about that. So I spelled out the whole name. We're going to be at the ranch Tuesday at 10, mm -hmm. blah, 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 hang up the phone. Tuesday at 10, we go driving into the ranch. Pete came with his professional cameraman. I was, right. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> following us. And I had a friend with me, Julie Rosati from Rosati Goats. I was actually cooking up some of her goat meat. And I said, Julie, you know, we're going through the cow corrals. We're driving way up in the hill. Oh my God, I should ask Pete if they want to ride with us. Oh, forget about them. They'll make it up the hill, so I'm like, Okay, yeah. so I flew I up the that. hill because I couldn't wait to talk to my mother and aunt and say, you guys better not be talking when we're <laughs> filming today. Exactly. So I get up there and I make a beeline. Mom, Pete, this is my mother, Joyce Leveroni, 
he looks at my Aunt Betty and says, Betty Gallagher, right? Yep. It's a true story. True story. Yeah. The camera should have been rolling. It should have been rolling. My that, mouth almost hit the ground. I'm related to Betty, so it was, uh, <laughs> we'd go hunting uh, uh, out in Nicasio, and she was one of the best hunters ever. And uh, I just remember her, like, always, I always look forward to seeing Aunt Betty, because she would come down the hill with sodas for all the kids who were doing all the hard work. You know, we were always out trying to get all the deer and out of the brush. Oh, and, uh, my God. So it was great. Like, Betty, what are you... Yeah, what are you doing my here? aunt says to me, she was wondering if Pete would remember her, and I said, I can't believe you pulled this off. Yeah, yeah she for pulled me. it so off. Yeah, she, she did good. She, she did pulled good. it off great. So, Pete, yeah. you know what? My pan's getting hot here, so we really need to start cooking, <laughs> or we're going to have burnt onions. Okay? Not hands, not hands today? No. Just onions. Okay. Oh, I already burnt myself here, but my beef that I'm using today yes. is. <laughs> came from Stemple Creek Ranch, which is in Tamales. Nice, mm -hmm. local. Very nice, Lauren Poncha, the owner there. I, um, he's actually going to be my guest on Sunday. So if you Sunday, want to what time? He's going to be here at the noon show. Noon show. And he has actually supplied me with some of his ground beef for three of my shows. Wow. Yeah. He I like to... him already, and that's, that's... I love Lauren. Got it. Now, but... for, for everyone watching uh, right now, I, I don't cook at all, <laughs> but I love to eat. I'm a huge fan of Lori's. Uh, Lori, you've been cooking and doing this forever. Are you happy I'm not having you chop the onion? I am so happy right now because <laughs> it would be really embarrassing, uh, and I'd probably bleed everywhere. Well, I'll so let you stir cooking. it. That's easy enough. I can do that. You can handle the wooden spoon? I can handle the wooden spoon. It's like okay. a drumstick. We're good. We're Perfect. Good. There you uh, go. Here we go. Perfect. Is there any kind of technique you like on the, on the onions? Or I want to see your technique. Want to see my technique? Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to look all professional, right? Oh, God. <laughs> now I'm getting a little bit nervous up here. That looked good, right? <laughs> okay, wait. I'm just going to just the heat no. a titch. Here. What'd you say? Titch catch. You said titch? Yes. Okay, just make a show. It's a family show. <laughs> okay, right. so the onion goes in the pan to saute for about three minutes. And what I like to do when I'm cooking ground beef mm -hmm, meat, mm -hmm, yes. is I browned it already in the pan, fully cooked it, then I put it in a colander and I rinse it with steaming hot water. It gets all the fat off of there and that is what we end up with. Fat is bad? Is well, bad? a little bit is okay. A little bit is okay, okay. You know my favorite food is french fries. Is it really? Mm -hmm. I love french fries. So do I. You, you so do I take the fat fries. out when I can and when I can't. I can it. Now, there was something you cooked for me not too long ago that I really, really enjoyed, and it had fries integrated with it. Do you remember oh, what that dish was? I can't talk about oh, that. Oh, you can't? Okay, is that top secret? It's top secret. Okay, all right. It's top secret. All right. Well, you know, one thing I can say is the best carrot cake I've ever had in my life is the Lori Fricoli <laughs> carrot cake. Unbelievable. If you guys ever have a chance, right? <laughs> right? Can I clap and cook at the same time? Yes, okay. you can. You're, you're very talented. Can Thank you, you. Look at that. Keep it cooking okay, there. yeah, yeah. I'm cooking, cooking here. I have to tell you about my carrot cake. When I competed in the World Food Championships last November in Las Vegas, I actually it was a timed competition. I baked a carrot cake. I cooled it. I deconstructed it and made it into a ravioli filling. In my pasta, I put some pureed carrots. I stuffed that carrot cake into my raviolis wow. and then I deep fried them. And then I covered them with a brand, or I should say drizzled them with a brandy caramel sauce. Wow. And then some toasted that's, walnuts on top. Okay, that's what we're having next time. Yeah, that was delicious. That sounds delicious. So the ground beef is going in here. I have one pound. I have one can of black beans that have been rinsed and drained. Okay, so So now far, you, so good. So you prepare all this right before. This looks like it's easy. I can it's do this. It's so easy. And then I have a can of diced tomatoes that have not been drained. Am I doing all right? You're doing great. <laughs> now we need the okay. spices. All right, good. Now, what are you using for your spices here today? Uh, Spice Islands chili powder. <laughs> Sounds delicious. A tablespoon of chili powder. You want a little I extra? I feel like a professional. Do you want a little extra in there, Pete? Yeah, just a little, just a, a what you call it, a titch? A titch. Just a titch more. <laughs> that's good. No, that isn't even a that's, tablespoon that's like, yet. There you go, that's good. Right? Oh. 
I can't believe you just put all that in there. Oh, what boy. are you doing? It's like stuck in the jar. Perfect. Okay. Now good. you have to mix that really, really, really okay. good. I'll do my best. Really, really good. I probably shouldn't do this action this time, right? Yeah. Make it ugly? I don't know. I love your shirt, by the way. Looks good on you. Looks good on it. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Pete's. Oh, God bless And a you. half a teaspoon of cumin. Okay. And okay. what is that? Oh, my God. Smell it. Woo! I think, okay, so cumin is one of those spices you either love it or hate it. My okay. husband used to hate it, but I... You, you disguise it? I started sprinkling just tiny bits, and now I got to a lot of bits, and so he loves it. Now he loves it. Yeah, yes. I see how you are. Yes. And a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. When I'm cooking, I don't use a lot of salt, so you can feel free to add salt to this dish if you want. How come you don't use a lot of salt? I'm a salt fan. Well, you know what? I love potato chips, so I okay. think I get all my salt that way. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'm a, I love potato chips. Because I could eat a whole bag. Once I get them open, yeah. Favorite chips, go. Where do you say go? Kettle chips. Um, Favorite. What flavor? Gosh, that's tough. Mm -hmm. Depends what I'm eating. I have two favorites. The buffalo blue are good. Oh, those are good. I like I the like honey mustard, them. honey mustard. Those are good. Yeah, very good. Barbecue. The onion flavored. I'll take them all. <laughs> Love it. But I have to buy a little bag when I get them. Yeah, because you eat them all, right? Mm -hmm. Same way. I'm the same way. Exactly. So while you're doing that, do you want to keep stirring that? Yes. Sure, I'm doing this good, right? This simmers for 10 minutes. She's giving me the easy stuff because she knows that I, if I give me anything hard, it's going to be, um, it's going to turn tragic super fast. <laughs> Now we have a chilled platter. Okay. Okay? You could handle that, Pete, right? I can handle chilled platters. Okay. And I'm going to be using romaine lettuce. Now, my mom would actually, uh, her philosophy was that she was going to cook really poorly for her kids so that when we got married, we would make our wives look even better. That was her philosophy. No. Yeah. So that when they'd cook, and if it wasn't very good, we'd still be so happy to be eating. So that was her philosophy. Oh, I that's think, funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, so people I, have asked me when I started cooking, and it was before I could ever reach the countertop, I would pull a chair to the counter, stir, cook, whatever, but my mom would actually let me pull whatever I wanted out of the refrigerator. And nice. I did the away. same thing, except it was to eat the food. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's why we're a good yin yang situation here. You cook, I eat, everything worked out perfect. Okay. Yes. The yin and the, the yang. Yin and the yang. You can be which works. one you want to be. It's all good. It's your show. So, this is another tip. Okay. When I get home from the grocery store or the farmer's market with my lettuce, I immediately rinse it under cold water and wrap it up in single layers in paper towels. And what this does is ensures that you will have nice crispy lettuce when you're ready to put that salad together. Did you know that? I, no, I did not. Now, when you buy lettuce, is there anything that you're looking for? That's one of the things that I have yeah. difficulty with is buying food, not just oh, cooking. Oh, okay. So what, what are some tips for us novices? Well, you novices? want it to look fresh. You don't want it to look wilted. You don't want to see any brown spots on there. If you do hit up the local farmer's markets, you know it's going to be fresh. Right. Right? Absolutely. Local. Yep. Local, local. So we're going to put a layer of chopped romaine in this chilled platter here. How are you doing over there? I'm is doing, that too hot? I, I don't want to brag or anything, but this is looking pretty mixed up over here. It smells awfully good. Pete. Yes, it does. I'm doing What are your secrets amazing. to doing this? Do you have any? Yeah, I've got a few secrets. It's top secret, though. You might want to turn the heat down just to... A just, titch. A, just a titch. Please. Done. Okay, perfect. I'm thinking that was a titch. Does anybody have any questions for either of us? Yeah, for especially, you know, the expert, me, here. Ask him the cooking questions. Oh, uh, yeah, ask me the cooking. <laughs> let's see what we come up with there. What's the questions you have? No you have questions. A question? Oh, oh really? Oh, sweet. That's sweet. Did you hear that? Make it I cool. heard. We'll have to pose again. Yes, we'll have to pose again, yes. I almost caught this on my shirt. Just I, I just saved it, so we're thank good. Thank you. If you don't cook, what do you eat? Um, I eat the food my wife cooks. <laughs> but I will go out and I'll buy stuff. But uh, as far as cooking, um, I don't I mean the microwave I'm pretty good at, you know, I can now dial I've heard up the that numbers. you can grill. I can grill. I can grill. I like to grill. So, is that cooking? I have that, to tell you. Would you all consider that cooking? Really? Yes. Well, then, I'm a cook. I told you that, Pete. I've told you that. I'm feeling pretty good right now, actually. 
Um, I have to tell you that when Pete turned 40 a little over a year ago, his wife contacted me and mm -hmm. said, Lori, Pete always said if we ever had a party, we want you to cater it. And yes. Pete's turning 40 and I'm giving him a surprise birthday party and I said I would be honored to because after I met Pete, we filmed the cooking show, yep. I went to Gilroy, I won the cook-off down there, that was three years ago, and yep. Pete got a hold of me and he said, Lori, you need to get a profile picture, you need to have a website, you That's should right. have a business card. And I had no idea why I needed any of that, <laughs> ever. That's right, huh? But Pete actually designed this for me. He designed my website, and he has just kind of pushed me along Thank the way. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. He's kept my ball rolling That's for me. That's right. When you see talent like this, oh, honestly, God. I mean, I don't cook or anything, but I want to help. Anyway, I can. Well, so I, I love mentoring folks like you. You're amazing. Well, I thank you. So when his wife asked if I would cater the party, yes. So the question is for Pete. Um, yeah. Are you, are you going to be performing anywhere? Yes, I am. Thanks for asking. I paid him right away. Um, I'll be I opening for Trey Atkins actually out here in uh, the Rhode Park Center. Um, yes, that's going to be a lot of fun. It's the Green Center, I believe it's called. Uh, yes. And then I have a bunch of stuff happening really and next year. And you know year. what? That happens to be the day of my birthday. Is it really? September 23rd. Done. You're there, right? Okay. Good. So thanks for asking. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be doing some of that. Um, and then I've got uh, two movies coming out. It's kind of fun. One's a feature film. I got the lead on, which is kind of fun. Can you believe it? He is we always just wrapped busy, that. Busy, yeah. Busy. So yeah, a lot of fun stuff coming up. Thanks for asking. So yeah, the Trace Atkins show should be fun. Yeah. So you're coming. Your birthday. Done. Okay. Cool. So anyways, I told his wife, Amber, I said, yes, I'll cater the party. Um, I don't cater, but I'm doing it just for you. And I'm not even charging just for the cost of the groceries, whatever. And it started out to be 50 people, about half kids and half adults. Kind and I grew. said, I can do that with my eyes shut, coming from a huge family, always having large gatherings with lots of food. Well, it grew to uh, well over 100 adults and probably 50 kids. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a surprise party, by the way. So I went up the hill in Skyserville. It was a beautiful house that my, my cousins Gorgeous. have. And I just was like, we were just going to a little dinner party. And all of a sudden, I walk out where the pool was. And it's just a, just a sea of people saying, <laughs> surprise. I was like, oh, oh my god. It was, it was, it was, it was really amazing, yeah. And then, of course, but the band Pete, was there playing, and we had Lori. It was just. But amazing. the part of the story that you don't know is it uh -oh. was Memorial Day weekend, and I thought, oh, it's going to be such an easy party. You know, I don't need any help, blah, blah, blah. And then it grew and it grew, and by that point, it was too late. All my friends were leaving town for the weekend. At 1 o'clock, when I should have been all the way up in Geyserville, uh -oh. my husband came in the house and he goes, you're still home? I thought you were going to be in Geyserville by now. I hadn't even packed my car. I have a huge SUV, and by the time I did get it packed, it was all the way to the ceiling with lasagnas and garlic bread and the table decorations and, oh my God, food galore, focaccia bread oh coming my out goodness. of our ears. Well, I can tell you how many fans you gained that day. Let me just tell you, everyone was just raving about the food. So. Well, I got... You lit something on fire. Yes, and I lit something on fire, my favorite thing to do. Oh my God, yes. But I go to get on the freeway to leave yeah. Petaluma. Yeah. The traffic was stopped. And it oh was 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and the party was starting at 5. And I called my neighbor, and I said, oh, my God, April, and I'm going <laughs> on and on. And she said, oh, well, you're going to be Drama. fine. I go, what do you mean? And she goes, well, the party is until tomorrow. I said, it's in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> this I is a great part of the story. I've never heard any of this. This is great. <laughs> I pulled it off. Oh, my God. Oh. Man, the things I, I do the for you, I'm I telling know. you. Good gracious. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, what do you guys think? Can you see that? How's it looking? Is that looking pretty good? Yeah? All right. It's you guys get to eat this. Too, it's right? good. You could shut the heat off, actually. Okay. So what I added to the chopped romaine is about a half a cup of chopped fresh cilantro. Do you like cilantro? I do. I love it. I like it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to show you a simple, super simple dressing now okay. to go on the salad. That you could even make. That even I could make? Yep. No. I burn water, so. <laughs> I don't same. believe that. I'm just horrible. Well, anything that has, takes too much concentration. It's <laughs> my, I'm always thinking of other things. 
This smells really good. Yes, it does. A half a cup of low-fat sour cream. Okay. A half a cup of fresh salsa. And you can buy it already made or you can make your own. Just use your favorite salsa. Just buy it. It's okay. That's what I would do. <laughs> a tablespoon of mayonnaise. Now, what is, is, this a, is this a recipe that you've come up with? It, oh, it mm -hmm. is, isn't it? It is. I don't know how you do and that. And some fresh lime juice. The fresh lime juice just gives it that extra little fresh, zippy taste at the end there. Got a question for you. Yes. I'm sure everyone is actually wondering. Yes. When you're doing this stuff, how do you come up with all these concoctions? I know. Everybody asks me that all the time. I mean, really, how do you do that? You know what? Yesterday I made a polenta crusted pizza topped with fresh pesto, chicken, grapes, and camembert cheese. And everybody said, how, whatever made you think to use polenta for the crust? Yeah. I have no idea. That's just your thing. That's your Poof. gift. They just come to me. Well, like songs must come to they, you. Well, yeah, right? I mean, maybe. Sure, sure. A little yeah. different, but yeah. Same thing. See, if I put Doesn't all the things I like. Good? Oh, my goodness. See, if and I that tried so that, easy. it'd be a disaster. It'd be no, like, it wouldn't. It's so easy. You guys just, saw how easy it was, It was right? easy, but if I tried to make that up, that would be disastrous. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we have a few more things to add on here. It smells really good. Wendy, come on up here and smell this. You can't. You have to come on up here. Everyone, this is Wendy Chambers. She's amazing. She's a photographer extraordinaire. She's here you go. Take it. Now don't burn yourself. Right? Doing a all right. Half a cup I haven't messed it up yet. Sliced black olives. Half a cup. Is there an official name for this? Grande taco salad. That's Grande. kind of boring, but I couldn't think of another name. It's all right. I like it. Okay. People have them if come I knew up with you were coming, I would have called it Pete's taco salad. I like, it has a good ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if you go to my website, I have a recipe on there called Pete's. Corn salad, pizza. Oh, corn salad. Something. Yeah, I remember because, that. Because, um, oh my God, grilled corn on the cob that I cut off of the cob. Some roasted red potatoes. Oh, what else? To, oh, sliced green olives, and it has a vinaigrette dressing, so it's great to bring to barbecues because you don't have to worry about the mayonnaise. Oh, that one was delicious. Okay, I love that. Yeah. Like, it's grill because yes. that's the only thing I know yes. how to do. Is, you could do that. Grill and microwave. Yes. Well, right now, um, I'm on the Pedal in the Community Access Station, but if you go to my website, you will see my TV shows on there. I have a special page for that. I have two cups of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. That's almost a tongue twister. It is. Would say that one more time? <laughs> <laughs> say it again. And action. Shredded sharp cheddar cheese. That wasn't fast enough. <laughs> But I'm That's not as try. fast as it would come all out. All right, all right, okay. <laughs> I'm still stirring. Am I supposed to stir? I'm just kind of... Well, that keeps you busy. It does keep me busy. <laughs> I need these kinds of things. Pete, I got to tell you, this is why we've kept that hot over there. Yeah? This is it right here. Honestly, if I'm going to have salad... It's going to melt the cheese. If I'm going to have salad, you have cheese, awesome. You have meat, awesome, beans. I mean, this is my oh, kind of salad. Oh, my Lord. It's like a meal. Mm -hmm. Not like an appetizer mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. Yummy, 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 Everyone yummy. Everyone gets to try this, right? Yes. Y'all get to try this. It's amazing. They do. You know what? We were so busy talking, you're supposed to put the dressing on before the cheese, Pete. Oh, Lori. I can't believe The last time this. I have him on my show, I'm telling you. <laughs> it got crazy. Oh. It, you know what? It's going to taste just as good either yeah, yeah, way. Yeah, it'll taste just as good. I believe so. So. All right. So, you are you ready? I get to do this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I'm nervous. Right, are you ready? I am so nervous. You guys, do a drum roll for me, will you? Like, on your, on your, yeah, there we go, there we go, here we go, ready? Here we go. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. Well, what do you think? We did it, Pete. Yes. Bravo. Thank you, thank you. Now you can help me do this She's part. here all week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, what do we do You'll there? be good at this, too. Do I get, like... Like break things? Crunch them. I can break Are you stuff. like me? I love deconstructing things in the kitchen. And back to lighting things on fire, what I made for dessert for your birthday. Yeah, it was good. Do you good. remember that? Oh, so delicious. Baked Alaska. Okay. Grab a handful of these. Okay. And they go This is why top. I had to wash my hands like 10 times before yeah, I came out here. Exactly. Oh. He didn't want to wash that. his hands. 
I said, if you're cooking with me, you better have clean hands. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. I just like add a little, good. you know, okay. just kind of improvising a little bit. Okay. All right, so here I'm gonna do some more. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how to cook, but I can do little moves like that, you know? Okay. He really put a lot into that one. <laughs> I'm gonna be tired after this show. Oh my here we lord. Go. Ready? Okay. I, could I like this one. I could never do it like that. I'm telling you. I'm going to get tricky here. Ready? <laughs> Gotta get oh the, like, uh, the edges. You look like edges. you should go on a magic show or Man, something. Man, I tell you what. I can, you want to see my magic show? Here we go. Ready? I think we're going to have a chip salad today. He's having so much fun. I'm having fun. This is, you said break stuff. I can okay. break stuff. That's, there. That's, is that good? That's great. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. You guys need stuff broken? I'm your man. But before they get a taste, you get some. Ooh, I do? Mm -hmm. A little plate for me and a little plate for you. Or do you want a big plate? Little. Big plate later. Big. Right now, probably little. Just a taste. Yeah. It oh, looks wait, because I'm, I'm going to get this back to the kitchen so they can serve it up to oh, the audience. Nice. You guys get some. Awesome. All right, so. I'm going to take the big one, Lori. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. Did you count? So you're going to be amazing. Sure, I can already tell because I can one. smell it. Do 40. I, mean, did you do I got to try it again 30? just to make sure it's really good. <laughs> make sure there's at least 30. You guys are in for a treat. And it's delicious. How is it? It's delicious. Yahoo! Okay. Yours doesn't look as good as mine, though. I know, you took the good one I with all the, the meat. One. I'm a guest. I gotta taste the meat that you cooked for me. Yes. Make sure it came out okay. It tastes really refreshing. Thank you. It's like really refreshing. It's healthy. This it is, is healthy. a very healthy recipe, everybody. Yes. Now, Thank are you. your, your recipes, you're talking about your website and whatnot. Um, yes. This recipe is available on your website, yes? This recipe is not on my website, but it is on the fair's website. Sonoma County Fair Kitchen Demonstrations. If you go there, they made a beautiful website with all of the recipes that I'm making at the fair. A different recipe every day. There's photos and there's also links to my sponsors such as Stemple Creek. Nice. They can That's go great. right to their websites, find out where to get their product at. On my website, I have many other recipes. Yes, you do. And okay, hopefully good. soon a cookbook. That's right. Working on that, aren't you? I love it. So, <laughs> does so. anybody have any questions for us? Mainly her, but no. I'll answer them. Okay. What's your favorite food to cook? Good my question. favorite thing to cook is my homemade raviolis. Homemade raviolis, which I've had, epic. My, like, they're yes. so good. They're like pillows of goodness. Yes. It's perfect little pillows of deliciousness. And I tried, I was like, oh, I was nervous because it was like, she's famous for her raviolis. And I was nervous. Have you ever made ravioli with potatoes instead of pasta? The gnocchis or use the potato for the filling? Gnocchi? I have, but not that many times. Um, oh, flies are after me. They're smelling this food. That's you right. Cooked. I know. Ah. Oh, I get credit for cooking it? If you love it, I cooked it. If you don't... I've only made gnocchi a few times, and that is another time-consuming project. Making homemade raviolis is about a three-day project because you have to make the sauce one day, the filling the next day, and then the day you're actually rolling out the raviolis, make the dough. And I can make 1,200 raviolis all by myself in three hours just by using rolling pins. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's worth it, though. The three days are worth it. Yes. But it's a great workout for your stomach, your arms. Nice. Yeah. That's good. Well, That's they're delicious. Good. Thank you. Then the trick was I have to wait for them to float to the top. As soon as they float to the top, they're done. Because I can do those kinds of instructions. That's yeah. good. That's Very good. Very good. Oh, boy, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at wine pairing. I suggest pairing whatever wine you enjoy drinking. Yeah. Can I suggest? Uh, yeah, nothing. go for it. I suggest. Um, Do you want to smell Lagunitas, this and uh, make beer. sure? Oh yes, beer. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love Lagunitas. Or Pinot, if you're. 
<laughs> I would recommend a nice a nice Pinot. With this would be would be a perfect match, in my opinion. Maybe you should come to all of my shows, and you could be yeah. the wine the alcohol connoisseur. guy. <laughs> the alcohol. Guy. I can be the alcohol guy, right, Steve? Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, we already have snack. one. Yes. That's on right. That. Is there any more questions? Uh, what do you find the, some of the challenging things to cook? The challenging things to cook. Oh, oh, this is a good one. When I was headed to Vegas to cook in the World Food Championships, I one of the desserts that I would, had to make was a cookie. So I thought, oh, I'm going to make an ice cream sandwich. But with the time limits, I Googled every ice cream maker I could find, and it would not freeze the ice cream quick enough. So I thought, oh, if somebody could teach me how to make ice cream with liquid nitrogen, oh. I would be in heaven. So I couldn't get any information. Going. And this was like four days before I'm leaving for Vegas. I had met the chef, Justin Wangler, from Kendall Jackson, and he said, Lori, if there's anything I can ever do for you, call me. So I sent him a text message, told him my crazy idea, and he said, come to my kitchen at noon. His pastry chef would teach me. I went to their kitchen. The pastry chef says to me, Lori, I'm sure you already have your ice cream recipe. And I said, no, it's just up here yeah. in my brain. I've never made ice cream before. Wow. So he showed me how to make ice cream. It was amazing. He sent me home with a huge tank of liquid nitrogen. What? Yes. Pete, oh my God. I kept it in the, our party room behind the house because I was afraid to even bring it in the house. I was running back and forth to the kitchen from there with this big metal bowl that I would pour a little bit of liquid nitrogen. The steam is flowing out of this bowl as I'm running back and forth to make my ice cream because yeah. I'm not sure how much it will take. I made a brandy flavored ice cream that was out wow. of this world. It came out perfect on the first time. But after yeah. all that, I decided not your thing. I'm not going to make ice cream because <laughs> I was worried it would be melted by the time it got to the judges. I could find a lot of uses for that tank. You still have some? No. <laughs> so that was probably the most. Um, but I love crazy stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, and then I have another story about cooking ribs. The wine country, Big Q. Yes. Pete has been an entertainer there. I have been the last couple of years. Um, I went to this event the very first time. This year was their fourth annual. And the first year I attended as a spectator, I love barbecue. So I thought, I'm going to go home and smoke my own ribs. And it was a How'd disaster. It, it was a disaster. <laughs> Glad it I'm actually anyway. melted the thermometer off the front of the grill. <laughs> Quit trying to copy me. That's something I would do. That's something I would do. Yeah. yeah. I've done that. So kind of I stuff. left yeah. the smoking the meats to the professionals. Yes. Actually. That's okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. No, I mean I'm a huge fan of barbecue, as you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I've never tasted anything you've done that hasn't been spectacular. So well, thank you. you go through your trial and errors before it gets Behind to the public. The scenes. Hey, what do you guys think of that salad? It's good, right? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. For if you coming. love it, remember, I, t I take all the credit. But if you don't, then <laughs> blame it on All right. Everybody got a sample? Awesome. Okay. Well, I thank you all for coming today. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. Awesome. I'm going to eat a lot, right? Yes. I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to take the book here. I'm going to let the whole bowl. Mm -hmm. Let me take this. We'll let the girls clean up. <laughs> I like that idea. Yeah, I know.